Good morning. I'm Brian Frosch, Maryland Attorney General, and I wanted to talk about a couple of important things related to the public health crisis that we're now facing related to the coronavirus. First, I want to talk to you about scams. Our office has seen a series of scams already related to the coronavirus. Uh, first, people are selling what they claim to be cures. There are no cures for this virus. It's a sad fact, but if somebody is trying to sell you something they say will cure you of the coronavirus, they're a fraud. Don't go for it. Uh, second, people are selling tests or purporting to sell tests. They'll send, they'll send you something and say you can test yourself at home. That's a fraud too. Don't go for it. Don't pay for anything like that. Uh, if you get an email, phone call, door-to-door -door solicitation, it's all a scam. Third, you'll see all kinds of email phishing again. You'll see emails that purport to come from the World Health Organization or the Center for Disease Control from the United States government. They uh, will ask for personal information about you, your social security number, your birth date, uh, your driver's license uh, information. Don't give it to them. Don't fall for this. If they send you an email and there's an attachment to it, please don't open the attachment. Delete the email. Uh, the attachments may be a different kind of virus that will infect your computer. Be very careful of, of this kind of stuff. As you know, there's talk that people will be getting checks from the United States government to tide them through the crisis. Uh, the U.S. government, when and if this, this uh, payment is approved by the President and by Congress, uh, they will not ask you for a fee. They will not say, Here, there's a charge, we're going to deduct something from your patent, from your, the check that you'll receive from the government. Don't give anybody a fee, especially if they're asking for a fee that is to be paid by a gift card or by a money order uh, or by a wire transfer. That stuff is all phony. Don't fall for it. Uh, I want to talk also for a minute about price gouging. We're seeing price gouging all over the place, all over the state, and you will not be surprised at the things people are, are gouging on. Uh, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, all other kinds of, of sanitizer, uh, face masks. We just this morning received a report that somebody is selling a case of water for $38, way above what the normal price is. Up until the day before yesterday, uh, our office was powerless to do anything about this. There was no law in Maryland that prohibited price gouging. But the General Assembly passed an emergency bill on Wednesday, and it was signed immediately by the governor. Uh, and that bill gives the governor the authority to designate products and services for which price gouging is illegal. The governor also has the authority to set rates that prohibit price gouging and so that you can't charge more than, let's say, 50% above what the normal cost is or the pre-crisis cost is. Uh, and as soon as the governor signs an emergency order, and designates products and designates the percentages of uh, increase that are not permitted, our office has the authority to enforce that law and that executive order. Uh, we are able to issue cease and desist orders. We are able to impose fines. We're able to sue and impose fines of as much as $10,000 per violation. And so we ask that if you're 
seeing price gouging, be in touch with our office. We have a consumer hotline, and the consumer hotline you can use for any kind of consumer complaint, but price gouging is among them. The phone number is 410-528-8662. You can also email us. You can also just go to our website, www.MarylandAttorneyGeneral.gov, for further information about uh, this and other important topics. Um, we're going to be uh, taking questions uh, in just a second, but I wanted to reiterate what you've heard from all of the public health officials uh, this past couple of weeks. It is really important that you protect yourselves and your family. Social distancing is important. Stay six feet away from people to the extent you possibly can. Uh, you if you can work from home, if you can work by telephone, by computer at your home, we encourage you to do that. The governor has prohibited gatherings of more than 50 people. Uh, this virus is spread mostly by aerosol, aerosolized coughs and sneezes. So if you're sneezing or coughing and you're out in public or even at home, Cover them with a tissue, cover them with your elbow, cover them with your hand if you must, but stay out of public as much as possible. People are gonna go nuts if they aren't already uh, staying at home, uh, but it's critically important to you, to your family, and to everybody else in our state and our country that we maintain this kind of social distance for sometime, maybe a couple of weeks, it may be a couple of months, maybe longer than that. But to stop this deadly virus from spreading, we need to follow those instructions from our public health uh, officials. Now, uh, we'll, we're happy to take questions. Have we, uh, have we received a question from anybody yet? It seems that we, we haven't gotten any questions yet. Uh, feel free to to bring them in uh, over our uh, Facebook. And uh, let me remind you of our consumer hotline number. It's 410-528-8662. It seems we have a first question. This is uh, 10 people. Co comment uh, is that uh, people should stay out of gatherings of more than 10 people. Uh, I, I guess I said 50 before, uh, but stay out of gatherings of more than 10 people. The only thing that can uh, come from close gatherings is the spread of this disease, and it is vitally important that we stop it uh, as quickly as we can. There are gonna be people who continue to get sick. There are gonna be some fatalities, and the best way to minimize that is to keep your uh, distance uh, from other folks. Um, we have a question, what's the penalty for price gouging? The penalty is uh, a violation of the Consumer Protection Act, and a violation of the Consumer Protection Act allows our office to seek penalties of up to $10,000 per violation. So if somebody sells a case of water uh, and the governor has determined that the price they're selling it at is over the limit, the penalty for that is potentially $10,000. If they sell six cases, the potential is $60,000. So uh, the penalties are very high, potential penalties are very high. It will ultimately be up to a court uh, what's charged, but our office will do everything we can to aggressively enforce this law against price gouging. Uh, we have another question. Uh, See, this one is, oh, how do you report price gouging? Uh, you can report price gouging to us at, you can call our consumer hotline 410-528-8662. You can report it by email. You can also go to our website, MarylandAttorneyGeneral.gov and uh, check there for uh, additional information 
about price gouging, about the COVID-19 crisis, and any other uh, consumer issues that you are concerned about or affected by. I think we have one more question. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, getting unemployment uh, is the question. And uh, the how do you do it? What do you do if you believe you're entitled to uh, unemployment uh, insurance compensation? And the answer is you can contact the Maryland Department of Labor, Maryland Department of Labor, and you can look at the website for Governor Hogan uh, and uh, in both of those places, Department of Labor website, the Governor's website, you'll find up-to-date information on that subject. Uh, should we do one more question? Uh, okay, the question is, is our uh, consumer hotline taking calls? The answer is yes, they are taking calls, uh, and the phone number is 410. 528-8662. Uh, another question is whether seniors are more at risk from scams. And the answer is very simply yes. Uh, seniors are the targets of most scams. They're the preferred target because seniors tend to have more money than the rest of the folks in our state and in our country. So they are always the focus of scams and we expect them to be the focus of scams and frauds related to the coronavirus. Uh, the, uh, everybody should be very careful about this. If you're getting phone calls from numbers you are unfamiliar with, don't pick up. They'll leave a message if it's important. If you get on the phone with somebody who uh, you don't recognize, who you don't know, and they're trying to sell you something, or they're asking for personal information, just hang up. That's your best defense. Just hang up on these folks. Um, the, uh, the, another question we've received is what, what to do uh, and how will uh, a price gouging violation be enforced? best thing you can do is take pictures. Take pictures, send us, send them to us. That'll, that's great evidence for us. Send us your contact information in case we need additional uh, information from you, but that will uh, enable us to enforce the price gouging law. Take pictures, send us the, uh, send us the details. Here's another uh, question. Uh, it, it appears that the grandparent scam uh, is resurfacing uh, as grandchildren are on spring, on spring break out of the country or just away. Grandparents are getting calls purporting to be from their grandson, their granddaughter. Daughter. And um, uh, don't fall for that. Don't send money via uh, money order, by wire transfer, by gift card. You'll never get it back. I can promise you your grandson, your granddaughter is not in jail in Mexico. They do not need your help by sending money by gift card or, or otherwise. They are not in the hospital in Mexico. If they're calling you, you recognize their voice, they say their name, don't you say their name, but if, you, if they tell you who they are, where they are, ask them questions that only your grandchild uh, can answer before you, uh, before you send money anywhere. So I think that, that will bring this Facebook Live to a close. We plan to continue to do updates about the coronavirus on our website via Facebook Live, via email. You can go to our website, MarylandAttorneyGeneral.gov, and sign up for our emails, our consumer alerts, and things like that. Uh, we appreciate your, your willingness to work with us on these issues. 
please continue to protect yourselves from scams. Please continue to protect yourselves from the coronavirus. And good luck. Stay safe. Thank you very much.